Hello and good morning. Let's take a look. We're in week five. All right, so you had this one. First of all, if you redid week one and two, you have to sign up on the wall. And what you're going to do is find your name. And then it's going to say week one and week two. If you did both, then you want to put a check for both of those. If you do not sign on that sheet on the wall, I'm not checking the work, okay? Because I can't cross-reference it any easy way, so I want to look for it that way. Let's take a look. We had this one on number five, and here is the way I would do it, okay? So first of all, the answer is eight, and I would do these two first, using that rule of exclusion, okay? So if you look at it, we have English, history, psychology, and drama, math, physics, chemistry, psychology, and drama, okay? So if you add them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you get nine. Okay. If you add them up. But the overlap is 2. So if you subtract 2, you get 7. So out of the first one right here, you're going to get 7. Okay? And here they are right here. Okay, all 7. And then if you combine that using the last one, union C, and you subtract the overlap. Well, first you add them up. Here's C right here. Okay, French, history, and chemistry. And if you add them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 10. But the overlap is going to be, it looks like, history and chemistry. So 10 minus two gives you eight, and eight is the answer, and that's the way I'm gonna work number five, okay? Let's go on to this one right here. This one, you have a formula. So the formula is, you add up the A, the number, so we could call this one A, so 245 plus 178 minus the intersection. They don't tell us the intersection. That's what we're looking for right here, find the intersection. So we're going to say x. The total is right here, 310. So what you do is work backwards from that formula. So to get the answer, what I would do is, let me think about this. I would take the negative x and move it over here, and it becomes a positive. I would take the 310 and move it over here, it becomes a negative. And what you want to do is take these two numbers, add them up, and then subtract 310. So I'm going to do that on the calculator. Get your calculator out. Clear it out. So I'm going to take 245 plus 178, press equals, and then minus 310. And whatever I get should be the answer. I get 113. So the intersection or the overlap is 113. And that's how you do that right there. We're going to watch a video going into the next chapter, which is dealing with logic. We're going to skip 2.5. All right, here's your assignment for today. Make sure you copy and show work. All right, let's go on now. Let's go to college algebra here. All right, so if you redid week one and two, make sure you sign up on the wall. What you're going to do is find your name, and if you redid week one, you're going to go ahead and put a check. If you redid week two, you're going to put a check. If you did them both, check both of them. If you do not sign up on the wall, I'm not going to double check that work, okay? All right, let's take a look here. Well, when you multiply, write this down. When you multiply, you can reduce any top with any bottom. 
and those are called numerator and denominator. So here we're multiplying, so I could reduce these threes, all right? If I don't want to, I'd multiply straight across, so I'd get three over 12, and then I would have to reduce, which equals one fourth. But it's much easier to reduce the top and the bottom and get one times one is one, and four times one is four. So either way you wanna do it, um, I would reduce before I multiply, it makes it easier but it's your choice. When you look at this one right here, division, and you try to reduce these, you can't because it's division. You can only reduce when it's multiplied. So write this down. Never reduce when division. You must flip it, and then it becomes times, and then you can reduce. You can only reduce when you multiply. Put a star by that. Okay, make sure you know that. So, if you go ahead and reduce this, like this, and it's division, and you knock out these threes, and you get one over four, that's wrong. Okay? So what you gotta do, or have to do, is first flip it. So when I flip this, it becomes times, so times three over one. Okay, so you only flip the second one. And so now you're gonna get nine over four. And nine over four is the correct answer. Okay, so make sure you only flip if it's division and you only reduce when you multiply. All right, this one right here is division, but you have to first factor. So if I factor out a four here, I'm gonna get six over four times seven X plus one. Now, if I flip it, the 6 is going to be on the bottom. And if I take a 5 out, I'm left with 7x plus 1. And what's going to happen is the 6 is canceled because I'm multiplying. This cancels, so I get 5 over 4, and that's the answer. You have to first factor, flip it, and then reduce. Okay? This one right here is on your worksheet today. Let's take a look. It's division, so don't reduce. Now, you can reduce straight up and down, but you can't reduce across. So, just to be safe, I'm going to flip it. And now that I flipped it, I'm going to try to reduce. Two goes into two once, two goes into that nine times. And uh, I don't see anything else I can reduce. So, one times 8x squared is just 8x squared. And seven times nine is 63. And that should be it. Okay, make sure you check your answers. I'll show them to you, but a little later in the day. Let's take a look at this one now. First, you realize it's division, and you got to flip this second one. So, and we're going to factor the top part here, and we're going to factor the bottom. This one we're going to flip. Okay, we're ready to work. So this is going to be, let me think, um, 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16, and it adds to give me 10. So it's got to be 2 and 8. This one right here is addition as well. This is 2 times 4. Like that. And what you're going to do now that you flipped it is reduce. So this cancels with this. This cancels with this. So your final answer is x plus 8. And that's what we're doing today. We were going to do the adding and subtracting, but I'm going to wait until probably tomorrow. All right? Your assignment today is a worksheet. If you can't be with me, or if you're ever missing the worksheet, what you need to do is get it online or get it from someone. Okay, so here it is right here. So you can go back to the videos if you need to. You can check the folder in the front, is what I would do. But if they're not in there, you have to check the video. And you're going to have to handwrite it. Unless you find it online. It is online as well. All right, well, have a good morning, and I'll see you in class.